Hello friends, welcome to Vidya's cooking channel. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Today I'm going to be showing you how I prepared sesame peanut noodles. This is one of my favorites. It's very simple to prepare and you can put together these noodles in no time. Here I've reserved all the ingredients required for this peanut noodles. I've already cooked my noodles, drained it and reserved it. I'll be using dried red chilies, finely chopped ginger, garlic, spring onion, spring onion whites, onion, dry roasted and uh, crushed peanuts. I'll be using sesame seeds, star anise, ginger garlic paste, peanut butter and soya sauce. Very unusual set of ingredients but it goes very well together. Now I've heated a wok on medium flame. To the wok I'll be adding a combination of sunflower oil and sesame oil. Always use this combination. Your Thai or Malaysian influence dishes taste really good. So once the oil is nice and hot, I'll be adding the star anise. Star anise has to nicely splutter and release all its flavor. That's when you need to add your ginger, chopped garlic, spring onion, finely chopped onion and fry all your ingredients till it turns light golden brown in color. Now I've added ginger and garlic paste and fried it till the raw flavor has reduced. We'll be adding the sesame seeds, dried red chilies to this. I've broken the dried red chilies into halves and I've added it. Dry roasted and crushed peanuts. We need to fry all these ingredients for 2 to 3 minutes on low to medium flame. Once the onion, the sesame, chili, peanuts, everything has fried. Once all your ingredients have fried for 2 to 3 minutes, that's when you start adding your peanut butter and tiny amount of salt. Don't add too much salt because we'll add soya sauce as well. We can always adjust the salt at the end. Add your peanut butter only when the ingredients have fried well. Otherwise your peanut butter will burn and you'll have a burnt noodles. So that is not good and tasty. All the ingredients are fried well. That's when I've added salt and peanut butter and I fried it for a minute's time. Now you can see that froth. The masala is getting cooked. I added uh, soya sauce and I fried it for a minute's time. Then I've added the noodles. I've cooked the noodles with some salt and oil. Now I'll toss the noodles in this masala. Place it on low to medium flame. Don't place it on high flame. Once the ingredients combine and mix well, fry it for 2 to 3 minutes. The noodles is also nice and warm. So once you combine all the ingredients in the noodles, your sesame peanut noodles is ready. It's so simple to prepare. You can serve this with chicken satay. You can serve it as it is. Once I have uh, tossed the noodles in that uh, masala and I fried it for 3 to 4 minutes, my sesame peanut noodles is ready. I'm going to be serving this in a dish. And this stores very well in the fridge. The next day, it tastes even better. Now, once you serve this in the dish, just top it with some uh, roasted and crushed peanuts and finely chopped uh, spring onion. You can also serve it with some lime wedges. It's up to you. But uh, it's very nice and tasty. It's got that tiny amount of sweetness, the peanut flavor. Very nice. So give this recipe a try, friends. All the ingredients used in this recipe will be listed in the description box below this video along with my written blog link and the link to my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the links will be in the description box below this video. The same recipe is also posted in YouTube Tamil. YouTube Tamil channel link will also be in the description box below this video. If you enjoyed watching this video recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes. I'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video. This is Vidya Lakshmi. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग बाय